Hello everyone. This is installation number two of uh, three songs of the week. So this week we, we got three new songs. Um, I don't have a nice studio and I'm in my backyard and there's kids playing over there. You know, you might hear them throughout the video. Just pay them no mind. They aren't featured in the video. Who is featured is special guest, Howdy Doody. So let's get right into it. Three songs of the week, in, in no order, just, you know, three songs that I picked for this week. I had a hard time picking this week. There were a lot of songs I wanted to pick, but then I realized I can just do this more weeks, and then... And then include the songs then, in later weeks. So. Uh, let's just get right into it. The first song we're going to do this week is called Silver Lights, and it's by a band named The Coconuts. Now, this is uh, off of their only album that I've found. I don't know if they changed their name and are releasing music under a new name. So here's Silver Lights. Describe it, I would say that the song really drags itself along. It doesn't sound like it's, I don't know, it doesn't sound like it should be happening, I guess is one way to say it. I don't know what exactly that means. But you know, it's like the song's just kind of screeching along, just kind of barreling over itself. Um, at some point, vocals do come in, but you can't really hear what they say. There they are. They're just kind of a spooky echo in the background. Um, I feel like this song might play in hell in a good way. Uh, what you might like about the song is if you want to feel a little bit more hardcore than you might be, you know, you want to feel a little tougher than you might be, you know? I feel like this song could make you feel like you would win in a fight. Even if you don't really fight that often, you know? Stop. Um, the song's rather long, it's six minutes long, which is nice because as repetitive and, and simple it is, it's rather easy to listen to, in my opinion. It's the kind of music that I doubt your mom really enjoys. If you feel angsty, you hate your parents, you want to start wearing a lot of leather, play this song. If you want to convince them that you're growing up, play that this, this, this is the song. Other songs on this album are similar to it, um, so if you like the sound of it, I, they have like five others that sound very similar to it. This is the this is my favorite though. If you've noticed the lighting's changed, it's because it was just too noisy earlier, so I cut the video. Also, my camera battery died, so it wasn't really cut by choice, but I'm glad that it happened anyways, because now the kids are dead. So, let's get back on with our music, why don't we? Let's get back on with our music, why don't we? Coming in at the second, number two, Dos R, or R, that's Chinese, E R. Song number two is from the rap and hip hop genre. Uh, it's by an artist you might know, Joey Badass. Um, he has a couple, couple great hits. Joey Badass recently released, or not really released, but uh, made his first mixtape, 1999, very notable mixtape, available on streaming services. It was not before, not sure why, uh, but now it is. So, in honor of that, I figured I would put uh, number two goes to Joey Badass, the song Waves, off of his 1999 mixtape. Uh, but J. Cole also used this beat on his song False Prophets. Um, but I like Joey Badass's voice on it better than J. Cole. If you know me personally, you know that I don't like J. Cole. So, here we go. It's always interesting when you hear an artist that you listen to when they're older, you listen to their earlier projects, and they sound 
a lot younger and you can tell. Um, so that's the case on this song. It's just the beats the beats just really great. I mean it was it was still good when J. Cole used it. Um, and I only really listen to False Prophets because I like the the little chorus that he had and the beat. So um, Joey Badass is a really good rapper I would suggest that you look into if you find yourself if you look through your library and most of the rappers in your library are from like top 40, top 50 lists. Like if you only listen to Future and uh, like Lil Uzi Vert, Takashi, 6 9 XXX, Tentacion, Rip, um, just a lot of new wave rappers. If you just listen to them and you kind of want to get into a little bit different rap music, then I think Joy Badass is a really easy listen. I think a lot of people could get into him. Um, not as many people are into him as you would think, or maybe I just don't know that a lot of people like I mean, a lot of people like him. It's not like he's on the ground, but I, I think you get what I'm saying. He's not the biggest. Yeah, it's also fun because he talks about uh, wanting to be rich and famous and wanting to make it, which is always, it feels good listening to a song before someone makes it that are now, you know, they're they're big now, they're big and, and making money now. Uh, it makes me feel better, it makes me, helps me sleep at night. Uh, yeah. Waves also kind of includes uh, a heartwarming story about, about Joey and his family and him being in his neighborhood and just wanting to make it and not wanting people to make the same mistakes that he's made and his family struggling to pay rent. It's a really good song if you don't listen to the lyrics, but if you're the kind of person that likes listening to more of the words of the songs, then I would give this song a listen. Moving on to song number three, uh, the third song in Chinese, that word is san, that means three. Song number three I picked because it contrasts song number one very greatly. If you don't remember song number one, here it is. It's that, that big, gritty, meaty, the big, meaty, gritty, girthy <laughs> rock song that's from earlier. Just, yeah, so dark and smoky. That song makes me think of smoked meats. Uh, but anyway, song number three, I picked to contrast song number one. Uh, so, if you can think of a song that would contrast something as girthy and meaty and raw as Silver Lights by the Coconuts, I think that it would probably sound a little something like this. Um, this song is called Cool Jerk by Caroline Says. Connor, remind yourself in editing to put all the pictures up somewhere. You didn't do that in the last one. Um, this song's just kind of like a really, probably the easiest listen out of all the songs on this list. If you're hyper-masculine, you probably won't like this song. Uh, you have to be pretty secure in your masculinity to listen to a song. Um, if you're insecure in your masculinity, though, maybe you'll like that first song. I don't know. I like both songs. This song, uh... I drive a lot, I'm a delivery guy, so I'm driving a lot. This song helps me not experience road rage. You might listen to this song if you're developing a crush on someone. Uh, I don't know, if you're, if you're talking to someone and you want to just send them music and be like, hey, you might like this song, like, because I think most people would like this song. It's got vocals that kind of not really uh, a pivotal point in the song, but they work with the instrumental to kind of build, uh, build an experience that's a little bit bigger. And the song just flows really well. Personalities that might like this song. If you find yourself wearing a lot of primary colors, you'll probably like this song. Um, if you go thrifting, you probably will like this song. If you eat fresh fruit, you'll probably like this song. If you're vegan, actually, I don't know what music vegans like. I don't know, maybe, if you're vegan, let me know in the comments if you like this song. Um, so that's it for three songs of the week. I am Connor. 
This is how he fell asleep. This is Howdy Doody, and we just brought you the second three songs of the week. All the, all the songs will be linked down in the description. I'm not going to link you on Spotify because I don't use Spotify. So if I don't use it, I don't think that you should. If you do use it, why are you using it? Switch to Apple Music. It's better, sound quality's higher, and the prices are about the same. So if you have a song that you think I should put on my next, my next week's songs of the week, let me know down in the comments. Um, and last, last week someone put a Jacob Sartorius song in the comments. I'm not gonna review, I'm not gonna, not like, not like I'm really reviewing these songs. I'm not gonna put it on my three songs of the week. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna diss my audience like that. I'm not just, I'm not just a wind up puppet that you can, that you can tell me to talk about Jacob Sartorius songs and I'm gonna do it, okay? Jacob Sartorius stays in Musical.ly, he doesn't leave Musical.ly, I'm not gonna... If you don't know who Jacob Sartorius is, that's totally fine. I feel bad that I know who he is, and I feel like I honestly shouldn't. But, that's it for this time, and, yep. Should I be telling people to like and subscribe? <laughs> Does that help? Hold on, let me... I'm gonna go ask my counsel. Should I be telling people to like and subscribe? Yeah. Because that's what most YouTubers do. But do you ever like and subscribe? Yeah. Really? If I like their video. Well, would you like it anyways if they didn't tell you to? Sometimes I forget. Okay. Okay, so like and subscribe, I guess.